this is not only a school project, but this is what builds communities. Today, the students at the uh, Champion High School are celebrating Black History Month with exhibits that they've done uh, in recognition of individuals that they've selected that have made important marks in history. It's really terrific, too, because there are local individuals they've chosen to highlight, national people, uh, people from all different walks of life. It's not just athletic people. There's uh, people involved in the arts and people involved in politics and sports. It's really a terrific event. They've done a fabulous job. My name is Aisha Dapina, and I'm doing my project on Bill Cosby. I chose Bill Cosby because, one, he's a veteran, and two, because he's a comedian. And being a veteran and a comedian is important to me because I love to make people laugh as well and making people happy is a pretty good thing to me and um, he's a veteran and being a veteran is important because he went to he went to the Navy to have a scholarship in college. Today's event is an event to remember uh, these kids, uh, the faculty, uh, the, the students uh, worked so hard in order to make this event happen today. I'm Ricky Morrow, this is Jackie Robinson uh, I'm a big baseball fan, so he's an easy pick for me to take. I mean, he's honestly one of the most important figures in baseball history and American history. They got to meet people, you know, from the community. People that grew up and went to this school in the 1940s and 50s, and that's special. And I really want them to learn about themselves, and that's what um, I'm the most proud of, I think, you know, for them. They really, when they put those boards together and they're working on it, when they finally tape it together and stand it up, that's, and they go, wow, I didn't think I could do it, but I did. I'm Jason McCarthy, and um, I've done Gene and Bo Mal for my project. And my name is Jonathan Beckford. We couldn't really find too much info on them, so they came in and we um, had a voice recorder set up, and we just asked them a lot of questions about what their life was like and how much things they've done to try to change who they really are. We did the uh, interview on the Morrows because we thought it, was a, it would be a great project to give a little history more than just what Broxton's more about instead of just, you know, boxers where, uh, you know, the real kind of champions are right here with, like, the Morrows and what they did for, uh, you know, the community. We hope the kids learn about themselves. Um, you know, they can learn about the person. That's great, but we see that when they finally finish their board and they present in front of a group of people, they learn about themselves, that they can really accomplish something and that, you know, they can feel a sense of pride in being able to get something done that's as big and large as this project. So. I chose Denzel Washington because he's an actor and I want to become an actress and he also, he was coach for his daughter's basketball team and his son's football team and I was into sports when I was younger. I like that about him and he also raised money for the Boys and Girls Club. Well, I, th I think this is uplifting because A, it gives students choice and they are got to pick what they wanted to do which allows kids a chance of creativity and freedom uh, which necessarily uh, doesn't happen uh, all the time with the core curriculum so I think this is a, a unique uh, project-based learning uh, the expectations are high and students have to deliver. Hi, my name is Manny Gomes and we're doing Tuskegee Airmen and also Ray Baker. My name is Brian Hartford. Uh, the process we went through is um, when Mrs. Sproles, our teacher, our history teacher at the school, he asked us to do the Tuskegee Airmen. We also had connections to get with a person that trained the Tuskegee Airmen, Ray Baker. And he, we decided to do research. We, we found a lot of research on the Tuskegee Airmen, but we didn't find a lot on Ray Baker. So we had an interview with him last Friday, and we found out a lot. Like he was like the first black detective in Brockton. I, I think this definitely improves stu uh, students' confidence uh, that they are capable of doing work. Um, the, um, they, they believe in themselves that they are uh, worth and they, they can get closer and closer to reaching that prize. Just remember, like I asked you, what can you take from that history, from that person that you studied, not because they're black, white, Chinese, Puerto Rican, or other, but whatever you study, make sure you took something from that person and you can incorporate that into your life.